BNN's coverage of the Class of 2023 is sponsored by Missy Pyle with Benchmark Realty. Missy's desire to help others comes to life through her integrity, hard work, and dedication as a realtor. If you're looking to buy or sell or just have questions about the market, call Missy Pyle with Benchmark Realty. Welcome to the signing of Carly Costley to Johnson University for softball. Uh, Carly, yours is definitely a little different. This is what I assume is sort of the end of an era here at the Mount Julia High School Lady Bears softball team. What is it like having your dad as the coach, but still knowing that you got to earn everything that you get? Um, I definitely probably had it a little harder than most people. Uh, we went head to head sometimes and it wasn't always the greatest, but in the end, usually we always got along and it ended up to be pretty good. I mean, I did work for my spot and I had to work for my spot and always having to hear that I'm the coach's kid and that's why I played and all that was never fun, but but getting to play for him was an amazing opportunity that I had that not many people get. What do people not understand about the amount of work it takes to be on a high school softball team? Or uh, what do they just misunderstand entirely? Give me an example uh, from the day to day of that work. I don't think they really truly understand the conditioning and the hard work that we went through at the beginning of the preseason and all that. I don't think they understand that we were up there every morning at 6.45 on that track running God knows how many sprints with him. Um, and then in the afternoon, we were in Coach Graw's class working our tails off too. So, I mean, we were working harder than what most people actually realized we were working day in and day out. And then when season came, I mean, we weren't out there long, but when we were out there, we were working pretty hard and we were going fast paced and we were doing all the drills that you can get done pretty fast. Now, uh, I hope I'm not mentioning stuff that I'm not supposed to and I get to control the edit. Uh, <laughs> But uh, we originally had you scheduled for a signing event earlier in the year. And then you paused on that. And anytime that I've been around you here in the building, uh, whether it's for yearbook or anything else, you've always come off as a kid that's really paying attention to the details and wanting to get it right before you move forward. What led to the decision to go to Johnson University? What, what thought did you put into that? Um, I kind of just realized that the college that I was deciding at first was not the best fit for me. Um, academic wise and softball wise it probably just was not something that was going to fit me the best personality for me more so wasn't going to fit me um, Johnson I went up there and visited a couple weeks ago and um, it just felt like home a lot more than the other school that I was talking about going to the coaches were a lot just more my style they um, it was like coach Carter when I got up there she was like a mom it was very like a motherhood up there it was like a family already just by meeting those first four coaches. So that was a big reason that I transitioned into Johnson rather than where I was thinking about going before. Parents, at what point did you start to notice that there was a distinct possibility that Carly was gonna be able to play at the next level? When she was six. Carly's always had a, a natural gift for softball, I think. Growing up in a dugout, she, she just, the game, when they're not paying attention, they're paying attention. So it was always a shock. I know she, her coach could speak for the day. She said, hey, Carly, we're going to teach you to slap today. And she said, she already knows how to slap. <laughs> she knows what she's doing. How does she know that? Like, she just picks it up. But she, it's always just come natural to her. And then Carly's always been a fighter. So we knew if Carly wanted to play college softball, Carly was going to play college softball. What do you see off of the field, out of the dugout, away from here, that makes sense uh, that Carly is not only achieving this, but is going to do well in college too. Um, Carly is a survivor. She's a cancer survivor. So at a very early age, we learned that Carly could do anything, but nothing was going to stop her. And she was going to do it with the attitude that she wasn't fighting. She was just doing it. It was just obvious. She and that not the victim. She was going to go take care of business. And so we've always said, we're going to wait and watch. She's like, Carly's going to do whatever Carly wants to do. Coaches, what does this team lose when they lose Carly Costner? A big mouth. <laughs> the loudest cheerleader that I've ever seen. Uh, no, seriously, we, and that is, that is something huge she does. She keeps her teammates up until, until she don't. She gets down on herself sometimes. We have to get out of that. But uh, Carly is a, uh, she is a coach on the field. 
So we're going to miss that. She she was another set of eyes and ears and a uh, sounding board for Coach Athens and I. They, they were things, you know, that we don't see in the dugout a lot of times. And you can only pay attention to so much that she would come in and bring attention to. And 95% uh, of the time she was right. Uh, the kid has studied the game her entire life. And, and the knowledge of the game, That's we're going to miss that. Uh, we're going to miss her speed. She is uh, she's just a natural running base and stuff like that. She sees things on the field as a player that a lot of kids you don't teach. They just they grow up learning that, and it's from being around the game. Um, I think that she did a good job of driving those around her to be better. So yeah, we're, I mean, there, there's a whole lot we're going to miss in her. And uh, I know that we've got two kids going to the same school here. And, uh, but I also know that from talking to coaches that something, something often switches in the kids when they go off to college and they're in a brand new environment, different people. What are the coaches hoping for Carly to grow in at the next level? Um, we ask that you know, when they get there, that, that just be an, have an open mind. Her and Reese coming into a new program, new students, new new school, uh, just uh, to be open to change. You know, I, I know that they're quality athletes. I, I mean, I look around at the banners on the on the wall here. And, you know, it's, it, they're exceptional athletes, and I follow their you know fearlessly travel team quite a bit. And I, I, I watch their athletes, and I've watched them for a couple of years before we ever made this connection. Uh, to know that they're going to be coming in, they're, they're going to be able to contribute to Johnson University, is going to be major for us. I think that the, that they're going to have some growing pains. It's not going to be easy because it's a different system uh, than what they're used to, and they'll have to come in and, and just uh, buy into the program. And buying in is the biggest thing. If they can buy in, then then they'll they'll make their mark on that program. Mr. Hill. My understanding is that you've known, uh, been around Carly for quite a while. Is, is that true? Yeah, since she was born. <laughs> What's it like from, from your position to be a teacher, then an assistant principal, then a principal, and you're at the point now where you're seeing kids that came in uh, that you know still had trouble taking care of themselves, and now they're going off to college. And then your experience with Carly specifically, what are you excited about for her? I'm just excited for her because, like I said, when she was born, I was playing baseball with her older brother. Um, so I've known her her whole life. Just watching her grow up doesn't seem kind of real, but she's 18 going off to college. Um, she's special because of what she's been, to, been through, like her mom said, cancer survivor. Um, getting to watch her in high school, she was an office worker this past year, so I got to interact with her a lot. And I knew if I told her to go, hey, can you help me with this, she would do it. No questions asked, she'd get it done. And getting to watch her play softball and the way she played on the field um, was really special for me to get to watch just because of the relationship I've had with her and her family. Carly, I assume you weren't scared of this because you don't seem scared of much, and that's rare for a kid. Uh, so I don't ask the usual how you feel going into this question. You ready to sign? Yes, sir. Please do. Hold on. This concludes the signing of Carly Cosley to Johnson University for softball.